right, all right. We are going incognito with the GoPro. So we're at Walmart. Let's go get our things. Next on the list, get yourself some of that matte black paint. Couple of loops. One of these puppies. It's freaking cold! Alright guys, got back from Walmart a couple hours ago, but before I can even get into rebuilding this crate, I am so excited to do it. The first thing that's got to happen is I have to demo this one, basically completely take it all apart, and we're going to start from scratch with a fresh milk crate and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole assembly process, bringing this back to basically my 2019 crate and uh, some of the modifications and upgrades I'm gonna do to it. Right here is one of the first steps as well. You guys can see I've kind of been MacGyver in this, got some sticks literally right there. And it's gonna be, this is, I'm gonna be painting them. I know, disclaimer, I know it is so cold, it's not a good time to be painting outside, but I just wanna do this project anyways and I'm just gonna kinda risk it and paint them outside in the cold anyways, let them hang. We're just gonna kinda see what the result is. They don't need to be perfect, they just need to work, they need to be black. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy, leave a like for me if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel. Gonna be trying to do a bunch of different things here, mixing things up, how-tos, whatnot, all different kinds of content coming your guys' way in 2019. So yeah, let's get ready and start taking this crate apart, shall we? All right, so now we are gonna do the pretty much most exciting part where it's gonna really, really start coming together and looking like a kayak crate. We're gonna put all eight of these rod tubes onto this crate and uh, yeah, that'll really start bringing it together and making it look cool. It won't be done yet at that point, but uh, this is a big step. Let's get to it. That looks a lot better, folks. I think this is a night and day such a better crate than I had before, and I'm so glad I did it. I'm gonna show you guys all the modifications I made to it now and just take you through the whole crate, start to finish, and all the little pieces and things that it's got going on, because I'm pretty proud of it, and I think, you know, maybe you guys will see a couple things that you might end up doing on your kayak crate. Who knows? I don't know. Koda, there's a husky in here, and she is just crying. You hear, you hear the jingle? She wants to go outside, but it's very icy. Lay down. She's not thrilled. So basically how this day started was I came out and I noticed that my crate was just, I came out to the garage and I noticed my crate was just looking so, so crusty and sad. So I pretty much decided I'm gonna use my Sunday to try and revamp this crate and make it, you know, just that much better for 2019. I'm trying to step everything up this year and just make it all better, so why not step up the crate? And I'm so glad I did. I think it turned out awesome. I added some rod holders to it as well. It can now hold up to six rods. Basically, my plan is to keep like four rods with me, this camera pole, and maybe like the net as the sixth option. And then I've actually got two more on the sides right here. You guys can see I've got these 45 degree ones on the sides here, and these are for when I'm catfishing. I sit and the uh, rods go like about a 45 degrees on either side of me just like this, and when one of them goes off, I just pick it up and grab it just like that, so it's just perfectly ready for me all the time, and it's, it's a great little thing to have. On the back right here, I'm gonna take out this camera pole. You guys can see I've got four rod holders on the outside. These are inch and a half PVC, and I've got these leashes attached to them right here. These are my leashes for my rods when I have them, basically leash it or lose it. So they come right here. I can extend out to like two feet with them. You get these from your office supply section at Walmart. I'm gonna do my best to link everything I use to make this build in the description below. You can see in the middle right here, I've got the bubble box. And that is what I bring whenever I bring my five gallon bucket here and I'm carrying live bait. I use that little bubble box right there to keep the bait alive and 
just keeps everything copacetic and happy. That's a really nice little thing that I've kept on my crate since I began kayak fishing. Used it so much. Something that I also have always had is this cup holder right here. It uh, actually is holding a root beer at the moment. Mm. Zip tied on, really, really simple thing. Yeah, so cup holder. We got bungee cord right here that I can pull out and loop around trees. This is pretty much something I have to tie off to stuff. And I've got the same thing on the other side as well. A little different strap, but it's the same concept right here. So you can see I've actually already pre-looped it to give you an idea. Basically, this is what I'll use to like, if I'm kayaking in like a tree field or something, I'll just clip off just like that. And it, it works great. So I put one on each side of the crate now so that I can, I can do it on either side of the crate. This is one thing new that I added. I think this is real, real cool. So this right here is basically just my little, I don't know, I guess you can call it like a catch-all little bucket. But I tied on the lid right here with a little hole I drilled through. And I don't know, I don't really know what's gonna be for yet, but it's cool, I got this little, nice little storage bucket. Right here is my screw with all my nuts and washers for attaching the crate to the actual kayak. Keep that in there. String, make sure I'm never gonna lose that lid pretty much is all that does. Yeah, come to the front right here. I've got my needle nose pliers leashed on as well. Fish grips are right here leashed on. I kept the leash really long, like two and a half feet, so that I can just have really easy access whenever I'm dealing with like a, I don't know, a crazy fish or some, some kind of situation. I'll want to let it go in the water. Only other thing to show you guys is pretty much just all the tack looking holes. So right here I've got five of my, uh, I think, I can't remember the size numbers. They're 3500s or something like that. But uh, you can see I've got my jig box right here. Crankbaits big swim baits, top waters, and of course, my frogs. So you guys get the idea. Here, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. On the inside, it's actually real, real empty. You can see I've got quite a bit of space, and the whole setup really is not that heavy of a thing. I am so happy I took the time today to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video from the start this morning where I went into Walmart until now the final product where it's all done and I get to stare at it until spring when the freaking winter ends and I get to go kayaking again. Winter projects, it just keeps everything, keeps me happy, keeps me close to fishing and uh, gets me excited for the springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy the video, please do me a favor, hit that like button for me as well and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't hit this button, it's not gonna do you very much good, but if you go to the real one just below the video here, hit that for me too. And if you wanna check out some of my other videos, here is my most recent upload. Right here is the most best recommended video for you. And right over here, you're gonna see that little subscribe button. So thanks for watching guys, keep water hopping, and I'll see you soon. I can't reach, do it anyway.